In this video today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you four ways in which you can connect with anyone, anytime, anywhere you are, rapidly and instantaneously. It's a very simple method. It's just about knowing the steps. So stay tuned and enjoy. In this video today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you three steps about how you can connect with anyone anywhere, at any time. My name is Seth Gray, and if you're new to my channel, I teach conversational hypnosis techniques about how you use your voice, your words, and your energy to connect with people and to become a more effective communicator. But enough with that, let's dive right in. The first step in learning how to connect with anyone, wherever you are, is learning how to give compliments. If it's someone that you know already and you want to establish a connection, or if it's just someone new, maybe you're walking up to someone, you want to talk with them, give them a compliment. Compliment what they're wearing, compliment their energy, compliment maybe they've got a necklace or shoes or whatever it is, give them a compliment. Notice, so it's important to open your eyes and to notice what's going on. Maybe, they, maybe they've got a nice voice, or they're wearing a nice hat or nice shoes, whatever it is, use that as a focal point to give them a compliment. They're obviously wearing it because they like it. So when you compliment, it shows them that you're noticing something about them. And compliments are really amazing and effective tools to establish connection. Makes people feel good about themselves. But if you do give a compliment, make sure it's genuine. I always practice to give compliments to everyone wherever I am. Complimenting their hair, complimenting they look nice, even just complimenting about their energy. They look fresh, they look like they had a good night's sleep, they're looking beautiful today, they're looking like they're glowing today. You know, there's so many different kinds of compliments you can give. So either compliments their physical, something they're wearing on their physical, or compliment their energy, compliment their eyes, compliment something they're wearing, maybe they've got a beautiful necklace. And you know, it also opens you up to speaking more with them. So if they've got a beautiful necklace, you can say, wow, that's a beautiful necklace you're wearing. Can I have a look at that? And you can even go closer and have a look at it. And then you can ask them, you know, where did you get this necklace? You know, like you can, it is kind of an opener to go deeper into conversations. So maybe you, have, you don't know anything about this person, but you've just walked up to them and you've, you've complimented something about them and you're already talking about their necklace. You can compliment a tattoo. They've got a tattoo on them. Maybe it's a heart or a rose or a beautiful pattern. You can ask them about it. So not only does a compliment make them feel good, establish a connection, but it also opens the door to talk about more. You know, maybe it's something meaningful. Maybe the necklace was something her grandmother gave her. Or maybe that tattoo was, you know, a, an adventure she went on to another part of the world and it, it's meaningful to them. So when you tap on these meaningful things in people's lives, it opens up the door for connection, makes people feel really good. Number two, change their state of being. If someone is going along and they're in a specific frame of mind, and suddenly you come up and you completely shift from one frame to another, it changes their state. And by being able to change a person's state, you kind of put the brakes on their reality and shift them into a place where they become more malleable, more plastic to go along with whatever's going on. So learn how to change people's states. A great way to change their states is to use your tonality, use your voice. Say, how are you doing? You're looking wonderful today. You know, you'll be surprised to know how effective using your pitch and using your tone is. And it's one of the unconscious ways to change a person's state. Come at people with a great pitch, a great tone, a great energy, and you will surprise them and you will shift their state from one state to another. Like I said, if they're going along in a specific state and you can change their state into another state, it kind of opens them up and makes them suggestible. 
and suggestibility creates receptivity and receptivity is connection so learn how to change people's states use your voice use your pitch use your tone to come at people with a great energy and you will find that it will change their state and be super effective and the third way to connect with people instantly is to build rapport with them and building rapport is all about connection that's what it is one of the quickest ways to build rapport is to find things in common with the other person if you can find three things in common with the person within five minutes they will like you and rapport is about liking the person finding an interest in the person and it's all about interest if another person has similar interest to you or there are things that are similar in common that creates connection so if they start talking about a book that they read and you've read that book as well bam you have a connection if they're talking about a place that they've gone to and you've been there before bam you have a connection if they're talking about a movie that they enjoy and you've watched it and really enjoy it bam you have a connection so focus on things you have in common with the people similarities remember the mind notices opposites but it moves towards similarities so finding things in common is one of the quickest ways to build rapport with people you can also build rapport with people by asking intelligent questions questions that soften the person establish connection and comfort and open them up to feeling really good states of being there's so many intelligent questions that we can ask but it requires for you to become curious curious to know more about this person because curiosity is a very connection oriented state and when you're genuinely curious the other person will notice they will feel it and this unconsciously will build this connection with you and them i got monkeys in the tree <laughs> So find things in common with the person, ask intelligent questions. Some intelligent questions you can ask are asking them what they do. You know, it's a very simple question. And if they say they, they're a painter or they, they are a singer, you can ask them what do they enjoy most about singing? So an intelligent question is a question that unpacks deeper forms of information to access emotions from the person we want to ask questions that elicit emotional responses from people when a person goes into an emotional response that builds connection very rapidly it softens the person and because you were the one responsible for doing it the connection falls on you so ask questions find out what people do focus on asking questions process questions and not content based questions content based questions are asking them how much money do they make um how many days do they work per week this is content content and content bores people so you want to ask process questions these are questions that get a person to speak about the depth of experience gets people to access emotion and an example of a process question is what are you passionate about and they will say i'm passionate about singing then you will ask them what do they find most enjoyable about singing this word goes deeper into their mind and asks them for the process about why that singing excites them it elicits the response and guides them into the state and then you will get all the deeper reasons why this person enjoys singing so much maybe it's because it allows them to let go or flow or it maybe allows them to access a sense of freedom so if they tell you let go flow sense of freedom you've got three very powerful keywords you can utilize and ask even more questions about you see the keyword is the about word 
About is a word that takes you deeper into a person's experience and goes into the process by why people feel that way. It gathers important information that you can understand the deeper version of this person and it elicits them into a strong emotional response. So not only will you understand them at a deeper level, you'll be responsible for making them feel good. And this will be a kind of unconscious energy bubble that will be created between you and this person where they will really feel like you are curious to understand them and you're extremely gen genuine in the way you communicate. It will have a powerful effect. So test out these three things. They're extremely effective in building connection, whether it's people you know already or it's someone you've just walked up to a complete stranger and you want to build rapport. Notice something about them. Give them a compliment. Build rapport with them. Find things in common. Ask intelligent questions and you will be on your way to instantly connecting with people and remember to become curious. Put on your curious thinking hats. Get into a curious state. Genuine curiosity combined with intelligent questions is a superpower when you want to connect with people and build relationships. Thank you for joining me on this video. If you enjoy conversational hypnosis techniques, I have a few other videos that go into deeper ones. I put links up here, so check them out. It will expand your knowledge and get you becoming a very efficient communicator. And if you want to go one level deeper, I'm in the process and almost completed my conversational hypnosis mastery course. So I will leave a link to that in the description below as well if you want to check that out and take your conversational hypnosis skills even further and learning how to master your communication. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day.